Hello, I'm Daniel X. O'Neill from the Smart Chicago Collaborative and the Chicago Community Trust. Today I am covering our first deep dive expollination lab, which is focused on resident engagement. Uh, I'm sorry I couldn't be there today, but I wanted to make sure that we got in some learnings and we were able to contribute. So we have uh, four uh, sort of uh, prompts for today, so I'm just going to get to it. What we wanted to cover uh, is uh, the story about our last resident engagement. As you know, we're all a part of uh, the Knight Community Information Challenge. Uh, the four of us, there's four foundations that are looking to reinvent community information and news. It's been great working with everybody, and I think what we talked about was that we wanted to do some more concrete sharing about what we're doing and how we're doing it uh, so that we can all learn from each other. So. I'm pretty excited about that, and uh, let's get to it. So uh, our last resident engagement at the uh, Smart Chicago Collaborative is uh, around the CUT group. We have this thing called the Civic User Testing Group, which is a set of regular residents who get paid to test out Civic apps. And uh, we have more than 800 residents to pull from. Uh, we have them from all over the city, up and down the entire city. We're pretty proud of the number and the of, of residents we're able to engage with, and it makes us pretty effective, I think. So, uh, the last one we did was uh, on February 5, 2015. Uh, we're really big on documentation. This is all of the uh, photos from each and every one of the tests that we've done. Uh, we just find it really important to document our work. Uh, the most recent one, as I said, was Cut Group Number 14, Chicago Cityscape. We held it at the uh, Logan Square branch of, Chicago, of the Chicago Public Library. And when it comes to resident engagement, there's really no other better place than the library. We think it's a really important um, you know, institution. There are 80 of them here in Chicago. They all have public computer centers. They're the largest providers of Wi-Fi. And uh, you can just count on them. You can count on them to be accessible and to be open and to uh, be helpful. So we conduct nearly all of our cut group tests um, at the library, and uh, you know we just kind of swarm in and 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 take over a meeting room, and we're in and we're out. Of course, uh, we love America and we love Chicago, so you know the flags are fluttering and we're saluting, and everything's great. Okay, so we wanted to cover. Uh, that's our last resident engagement. What are we, what what were we hoping to learn through this uh, engagement? Um, well, we wanted to help Chicago Cityscape, which is a great website that um, they say you can get an address snapshot for anywhere in Chicago. It's run by a guy named Steve Vance, who I've known for some time. He's a great civic tech developer and also a great advocate and journalist around transportation and transit. And uh, he filled out our developer form. It's a very simple matter to get engaged with the cut group. We love forms because we're able to get structured uh, uh, data and structured quantitative and qualitative information and really kick off processes. So we asked them and uh, whoever filled out this form really simply, you know, where's the site? Uh, what do you want from user testing? Which, of course, is the question that, uh, that we're asking here. What were you hoping to learn from the engagement? So Sonia Marciano, who runs the cut group for us, she... Uh, meets with the uh, developer and does a really more specific drill down into into what they want to learn, and she creates this uh, a document, um, and uh, you know we just drill down into this question: What do we want to ask? Uh, and we do that collaboratively with the developer. So um, uh, these are the sort of features that Steve wanted to, to cover. And, and, and what do they want to learn from the cut group test, right? So we, we had four really deep areas where we wanted to, to take a look at. He wanted to know other functions that are difficult to use, some block and tackle um, uh, uh, user interface testing. Uh, you know, are there features that, that they're looking for that they, that they might need? You know, he wants to test the market. Um, are people interested in paying for these services? Um, and then, you know, like just a typical thing, what do they look at first? So that's what we wanted to get out of it. How did we go about doing it? 
uh, that answer is right here in the uh, cook group book. So we wrote a book uh, about our methodology so that we could share that. Um, and, and that's what we did. This is the methods. We recruited some people that met the requirements that Steve uh, wanted. Um, uh, residents and home buyers. Uh, and we uh, used the, the normal methods that we always do. The kind of test that we did in this instance was, uh, uh, we, was to do a one-on-one -on -one proctoring. Um, we have a number of different methodologies. Uh, we could do direct test proctoring, which is what we did. We could do like a larger focus group where we're just sort of sitting around and rapping about a thing. Uh, we could do remote tests, which wouldn't be appropriate for this because Steve wanted to get down uh, right with people and, and observe them while they were using his test. We could do self-driven in person where we just sort of sit next to them and they do it. Um, but we use the direct test pro proctoring. So that's how we went about it. Um, let's get into the meat. Uh, what did you learn that was surprising? So. One of the great things about being based in the Chicago Community Foundation is that we are put in with all sorts of other groups that are helpful. So we were doing a test recently. You know, we have a project page for the cut group, and we make sure that we, again, show all of our works. We have all the recent blog posts about it. This is the blog post about those photos I was just showing you. Um, the last test we did was for something called Roll With Me. So um, we did that back in uh, earlier this year, on January 8th. Uh, we started off doing it. And it was with a guy named Mohammed Nuayun, who was an intern with us. And he created an app that, um, well, it wasn't an app, it's a website, that helps people find accessible transit directions in Chicago. It's an easy matter to get transit directions about what bus you should take. But it's a far more uh, complex thing to find accessible routes that are uh, you know, they don't have an elevator out or the station's not closed. And, and that data exists here in Chicago, but it's not mainstreamed into the uh, transit uh, feed. So it's a really cool little website. In the context of that, we worked with our partner, ADA Chicago, ADA 25 Chicago, which is uh, an effort to commemorate the 25th anniversary of the American with Disabilities Act. And um, again, it's a year-long effort that's hosted over at the Chicago Community Trust, just like us at Smart Chicago. And when I first met them, I was like, wow, we have to hang out because, you know, technology and accessibility go hand in hand. Uh, many pop culture, highly popular features of the World Wide Web and the Internet were based in serving the accessibility community, including cascading style sheets and GPS on buses and swipe technology for Android phones. All of these came out of uh, the accessibility community. So I really wanted to work with them. So we saw an opportunity when we were set, getting ready to do the Roll With Me test. And so we asked them, and they're like, yeah, you should recruit you know, places like the Rehab Institute in Chicago and, and, and Access, Access Living and all these other places that we're down with, is what the ADA 25 Chicago people said. And we said, that's great. We want to interact with them on the Roll With Me test. But Sony Marciano, she, she's adamant about the idea that anybody who joins the cut group to do a specific test, they're there for the cut group, that, that we can use them forever, that we can work with them um, not just on, you know, items that directly relate to their, to their disability or their condition, but just that they're uh, a part of, of the, uh, the cut group uh, community in general and that we can uh, work with them forevermore. And that came to, uh, came to bear for the, uh, the next test that we did for Chicago Cityscape. Sonia had been working with a woman who, she, when she, uh, you know, over email and, and planning, and when she came to the test, uh, we saw that, that she, was, she was blind. And um, uh, she also uh, knew Steve, the developer. She had worked with him in a city department before. So in a city of 2 million people, this is a normal thing. This is, this is human, human life, right? We go around and, and we have coincidences and we have re, uh, people reunite. and um, It's just a really good experience. Uh, you can see uh, the candy. We love candy uh, over here in the corner. Um, and people just hanging out in a, in a Chicago Public Library uh, talking about technology. So Steve and Sonia worked with uh, this user and got some great feedback. 
So not only uh, did we get great feedback on Chicago Cityscape, but, um, uh, oh, and by the way, the feedback, this is the feedback. We obtain it again through Wufu Forms uh, at wufu.com, and we ask really specific information. It's a very flexible, really good uh, form fill uh, system. So the thing that surprised us, again, going back to what we learned that was surprising in our resident engagement, was... Uh, something that related not to Steve's uh, website at, at Chicago Cityscape, but to the underlying mapping technology called Leaflet. So uh, Leaflet is a JavaScript library for mobile-friendly interactive maps. And it's really taking off, and it's in a part of open, um, uh, open maps and, and, and Mapbox. And it's uh, becoming quickly becoming an important set of infrastructure on, on, on the web. And uh, Steve, uh, on his own, that had nothing to do with the Cut Group, created uh, an issue on GitHub, the Leaflet repository uh, for GitHub. I'm sorry, the GitHub repository for Leaflet. Uh, GitHub is a social uh, coding website that allows you to um, uh, share your code and, and get bug reports and collaborate, right? So Steve made uh, an issue, number 3,210, called Accessibility Improvements, and he explained um, what happened in our test, uh, uh, a very specific thing, and it was a specific problem that was related to using voiceover on the iPad and how the images uh, load, and, and it, it was just not a good experience for the user. And it led to this enormous, it was an extremely well-formed issue, and it led to this huge discussion among main developers of Leaflet. And they're talking about how they can improve the experience for all um, uh, disabled people, uh, especially vision um, people with vision issues, in uh, Leaflet itself. So... That was um, our really surprising experience in uh, resident engagement at uh, the Smart Chicago Collaborative, sitting in a library uh, on the north side of Chicago. Thanks for listening.